Now, keeping your Windows drivers up to date isn't as easy as it should be. Microsoft tends to play it safe and focuses on stability and security and not necessarily performance or features. So that's where third-party tools like OzLogic's Driver Updater step in, they dig deeper, and they find drivers that Microsoft are not interested in. Instead of hunting through manufacturer websites, you can just scan once and everything shows up. They can fix bugs, solve problems, or just make things run smoother. If you've loaded Device Manager to try and update a driver, you will have seen this message. The best drivers are already installed, and sometimes that's not true. Okay, so let's load driver up data. You can see that it just starts scanning immediately. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. So that took about a minute to scan all the drivers. If we look at the results, it takes us to the second tab, Diagnostics, 16 out of date drivers. And you can just update them all at once by clicking on update all drivers. But before we do that, I just wanna have a look at some of the other features. Real-time optimization, let's just turn that on. So that would just run regular checks for drivers. Now, I am not a fan of having loads of apps running in the background. I prefer to keep it much leaner. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Then we have hardware monitoring. And again, this would be useful if you do leave it running in the background. You can get a warning if any of your temperatures go above one of these critical levels here. But again, I'm going to turn that off. It's just my preference. Security checkups. Now this lets you check those drivers for any threats. And it says here, even when installed from a reliable source, drivers may be infected by malware that gets onto your PC. So you can choose a software. So they've got their own anti-malware app here. You can choose one of the supported third-party programs. I've actually got Bitdefender. So if I wanted to run it through there, I could actually go to my own custom choice. That's the security. Now, the reason I didn't click on update all drivers here is because I wanted to use this feature here, which I think is really useful to be able to take a backup of all the drivers before you do anything. Now you can just do that selectively or just back up everything. So I'm going to click on backup selected, take a snapshot of all of the drivers, a little bit like creating a system restore point, but I think it's useful to have the app that is managing those drivers to actually do the backup for you. Backup is complete, and here's a little tip for you. If you want to speed this process up, uncheck the graphics card backup because that was the thing that was really slowing the process down. So once all of those drivers are backed up, I can happily update those drivers. But before we do that, let's see what other tabs we've got. We've got the OzLogic store, all the other software that they sell, basic overview of your system, and then devices and drivers. Now, you'll often see the same devices repeated several times in device device manager or in a driver scan it doesn't mean that I've got all of these drives it's just windows showing each instance of the device for example partitions controllers or even past devices they can all appear here it looks messy but it is normal and we've got ask a question and I haven't created an account yet but you can get some support here and see all the latest questions so now that I've got a backup of all of my drivers I'm going to come here and update them all see here that a restart is recommended to complete the update so I'm going to go for a restart so now that I've rebooted I'm going to run the updater again and you can actually come over to the diagnostics tab and see a live feed of everything that's being loaded and the ones that have outdated drivers okay so you can see I've got great news no drivers require up Updating. I had to do this in a couple of passes because I think that when you're updating drivers, some of them need a reboot before we can go any further. We're there now. Now, you may have seen me cover Driver Booster on the channel before, and this is why OzLogix got in touch and asked me to take a look at Driver Updater. When I tested them side by side, Driver Booster found three updates. Driver Updater found 17 updates, so it's digging much deeper and it's using its own huge database of drivers to help you fix problems and improve performance. And it even updates Microsoft drivers that Windows has overlooked. When Driver Updater finds a vendor driver, it's from the hardware manufacturer. Microsoft often provides a generic fallback driver, safe but not always up to date. And if you prefer to stick with Microsoft's version, you can. The tool lets you ignore individual updates. 
Now I've seen people say you don't need to update drivers, but you could have problems that you're not even aware of. When I loaded Device Manager, I could see there was a problem with one of my Bluetooth drivers. And that made sense because I was trying to connect some Bluetooth headphones and it either wouldn't connect or it had trouble connecting. Also had trouble with a USB-C hub that wasn't giving me the full speed and there was a problem with some of the ports on it. And after the driver update, it worked just fine. And of course, driver updater has that rollback feature for safety because not all new drivers behave themselves. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that of course it has dark mode and oh look at that yeah that was quite nice actually we've been looking at the pro version of oslogic's driver up data which allows you to update multiple drivers in one go schedule scans and gives you extended priority support but if you don't need all of these features the good news is there's a free version of driver up data and if you want to try it follow the link in the description to find out more